Owing to this struggle for life, any variation, however slight and from whatever cause, proceeding, if it be in any degree profitable to an individual of any species, in its infinitely complex relations to other organic beings and to external nature, will tend to the preservation of that individual and will generally be inherited by its offspring. The offspring also does have a better chance of surviving, for of the many individuals of any species which are periodically born, but a small number can survive. I have called this principle by which each slight variation, if useful, is preserved by the term natural selection in order to mark its relation to man's power of selection. We have seen that man, by selection, can certainly produce great results and can adapt organic beings to his own uses through the accumulation of slight but useful variations given to him by the hand of nature. But natural selection, as we shall hereafter see, is a power incessantly ready for action and is as immensely superior to man's feeble efforts as the works of nature are to those of art. Survive, 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 survive,